hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates. I don't know why my camera froze. Green. Wait, say it again. Red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, need to have my back because I have yours. We are going to pull from the yin and yang tarot, uh, excuse me, oracle deck to get some energy. And then we're going to pull from the archetype deck to see what you type of energies that have been around you. There's third party energy. Um, also, it's some type of external energy that's here. A card fell. And somebody's soul chakra is off. You hear my voice change? I am about to choke. Hold on one second. Let me pull this. Let me get this card on the floor. Okay. Hold on one second. I got to put my ear, my ear things back in. But the card that fell on the floor came up just like that. And I'm putting my earplugs, whatever these things are called. Um, I was going to call them speakers. But anyway, um, the card that comes out is Apology. So somebody is apologizing. Apologizing. Apologies. Somebody is apologizing based upon third party situations or situations. They're asking for your forgiveness in regards to the past. And therefore, it seems like the ball is in your court. You ask for assistance based upon the disharmony, the conflict, and the things that were triggering you when it came to this person. You ask for your spirit guides to help you and to be compassionate and help nourish you through, nurture you through these situations. The type of energy that you were dealing with, already we got third parties. Um, now let's see. The perfectionist and somebody who either acts clueless or act like they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, that acts like every time they come back around, they're a stranger and that they're clueless up to what they've been doing third party. So now that they realize that they were um, trying to be a perfectionist or trying to act as if they were perfect, you know, and and clueless up to what they were doing. Now they have to answer to you. So it says a stranger or this could be a new person. So somebody that is going to nurture you and be compassionate about your energy moving forward and somebody from the past wants you to wants to apologize to you but all this is happening because you ask your spirit guides for assistance and therefore it says a stranger a new lover partner someone who barely knows someone you barely know someone you have yet to meet so this could be somebody that's going to come in your life and uh you know brighten it up and be compassionate and nurturing what is a kiss on the forehead mean to you i love kisses on the forehead so therefore you know, that might be something that you fall in love with this person. But remember, set boundaries. Understand that any new people that come into your life, whether old or new, you have to set the boundaries and say what you want, move forward and speak, you know, speak your mind respectfully. But um, also know that you got to let go of the past. The past causes fear and the future causes anxiety. The only thing that you can do moving forward is live in the present moment. If somebody wants to be a perfectionist and act clueless uh, based upon what they did, but they're coming to apologize based upon the conflict, the disharmony and the triggers, then, and the third parties, then let them do that. But you have the, uh, you have the strength and the know-how to be able to say, I accept your apology, however I have moved forward, or I am wanting to Look at things from a new light and I'm I'm moving forward and away from you. That is where your strength lies when it comes to dealing with adversity of the past. And, you know, you're going to be able to be impeccable with your words. And I understand. Look at the cards. Yeah, look, new direction. So I'll go ahead and take these. This is a lot of cards that came out. Yeah, you're going to understand why you need balance in your life and that at some point this person didn't bring balance. Yep, you have the four of swords, you have the seven of swords, you have, yeah, making decisions. So this is insecurities. This is you uh, sitting back and kind of waiting for things to kind of fall happen. The page of wands energy is being able to, excuse me, go after the things that you want or to be able to see things in a different perspective and, you know, explore and be free, free and, you know, about the excitement that the new energy is bringing, the justice is the consequences of somebody's actions when it came to how they broke your heart. You went into hermit mode. Let me put that here because again, they were the perfectionist and then they act clueless on their actions. And you have clarity about how you're in your Drake energy. You only live once, be bold, be fearless, do what you love. And you are able to make the decisions when it comes to the two of wands energy, making the decisions of what you need to do moving forward so the ball is in your court 
you need balance you want to be nurtured you want to be you want you want somebody to nurture you you want somebody that's compassionate you want somebody new and so therefore in order to have somebody new either you got to step out on faith or if you want something new with the person you have to be able to accept the apology move forward and to let go of the past and to know and speak your mind about the triggers of the past and then move forward you can't keep going back and forth and um, saying what it is that this person done you're going to have to give them a chance in order to be able to move forward i'm going to pull from the uh, this is the doo -doo -doo -doo. i'm going to pull from this this is the karmic i'm going to put that right there but that's the karmic twin flame and uh soulmate thing but before that i'm going to pull from the situation deck to see what situation you were in when it came to this so somebody wants you to forgive them and somebody understands the triggers you see that came out up uh, it came out upright, but then flipped over. So yeah, somebody wasn't um, at this point, and maybe they had some type of spiritual uh, awakening. But at some point, you know, they uh, they weren't at the they weren't there, you know. And so now here it is. There is some type of conversation that they want to have, and they want to be a family when they realize, oh wow, when they realize that they have been a stranger to you or they haven't been compassionate and they haven't been nurturing you and so therefore when it comes to balance they didn't give you that and so they want to get on the same page with you but again you know they weren't because they're saying basically that all of the things that they put you through they ask their spirit guides you ask your spirit guides to give you strength in order to move forward they realize that they weren't perfect they realize that the clueless energy of back and forth of how they you had to make a decision based upon the heartbreak and their actions and that's the realization um when it came to things coming to the light or you finding out or having the strength and them finding out basically why you decide to leave and it's because you had to get to a point to where you know you had to um how do i say you you had to free yourself from this energy does that make sense and so that's the decision twice two decisions that you had to make you were juggling making these decisions, but you rested, you waited, and you, you sat and waited for them to really understand. And even though you were insecure about the situation, you still went ahead and uh, waited for them, if that makes sense. So, um, again, I'm going to pull from the, what is this, Twin Flame uh, Soulmate. I'll pull one more card. And uh, I forget, Karmic Partner. So, bye, yeah. You had to leave and break up with this person and um, no longer were you chasing this person um, you weren't in a situation but it says instead of trying to convince the other party of your worth exactly of your worth redirect that energy into the areas in your life trust relax and be patient and surrender surrender to the divine surrender have a realization that where you are is that you guys are different damn i can't make that up it says your twin may be different to you different cultures beliefs age or and status this could keep you apart until the differences get resolved and so they're ready to resolve that but you had to break up before you couldn't wait any longer when it came to dealing with this situation so it says this is the time at this time there's no going back and you're reclaiming your self-worth and beginning the healing process and so again you want to be nurtured you want balance you want compassion you and this is the realizations that you had when it came to you guys excuse me, and the differences that you um, went through. And then also this person, you want this from a totally different stranger. So this might not be um, a read that you're going to go back and forth with, uh, you know, or go back to a person. This might be something that you're looking for in a new person, but you have to learn from the past in order to move forward to the present moment and not dwell on or look, look to the future because the future is going to cause you anxiety, the what ifs will cause you anxiety if that makes sense so that's just kind of how I see that I'm gonna pull from do 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 uh this is okay uh cancer baby tarot's tarot deck and it's called the hold on I have it right here okay at least I thought I did I do have it somewhere but it's the yeah I don't remember what it is but cancer baby tarot yeah eight of wands so with the eight of wands energy you know, you had to understand that you had to move forward. You had to have some type of movement 
when it came to dealing with the situation, you had to understand what it was and what it was for. And there was quick decisions that had to be made. You know, you couldn't overthink the situation anymore and go, you know, you had to make some changes. And so uh, this person had to make the same changes for swords. Yeah, again, the four swords coming with the four swords. This person uh, knows that you were patient with them, and now they're willing to chase you because you broke up with them. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, so the four swords comes out twice. So now you guys are on the same page, ten of swords and also the eight of cups. Yeah, you had to walk away because this person made you feel like um, there was some type of um, um, misunderstandings and um, a lot of, uh, how do you call it, like um, loss or betrayal, you know, things like that. And there were wounds that you just couldn't uh, bear to deal with anymore. And that's you trusting in your intuition, high priestess energy. You had to get to the point to where you understand that and listening to your instinct, listening to your heart, but also being able to accept you, accept the universe and the help assistance from the universe, shall I say. But that is because this person wasn't at a spiritual awakening and they hadn't seen anything. So until this person was willing to change, you had to change the situation. And so that's the same thing. There's no turning back. Now, you might be at a point to where you're not willing to accept the differences or even accept that this person has balance now or has seen thing and had a real had seen something and has a realization because it could have been a lot of time that has went past. When it came to dealing with it, we have eights out here. So when it comes to the eights, the eights are just basically advan advancement. You moving forward and you understand what it is and that what you're w not willing to go back towards. So if that resonates, it resonates. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But you had to go and move forward with that. Now, I think I'm going to pull. I think this is in the shadows to see what energy comes out. But And then after that, I'm going to pull from the four agreements and the crystal deck. Yeah, it says, I don't know how to let you go. So this person is now the chaser because they don't know how to let you go. And, it, and you're like, I'm happy it's over. You understand the differences. You want compassion. You want to be nurtured. You had a realization that the only thing that you need right now is balance. And that's from a new person. It's not from this old person. It's like you can't teach your old dog new tricks. And that's just the energy that you're in, if that makes sense. Now, I'm going to pull from my old deck, which is... Uh, one of the first decks that I made, you guys, I have like 15, 32 decks in my thing. Yeah, the distance. You had to distance yourself. And I have not just got them out. Um, but, uh, again, you had to go through this journey in order to be able to distance yourself and to understand and recognize the triggers. And it's okay to accept somebody's apologies based upon the third parties, the triggers, the conflict. But, again, you ask the universe to help you and to guide you into something and to find something for you and right now they had an spiritual awakening and they're wanting to talk because they want to be a family but again that's up to you if that's what you want and so um I'm trying to think what I want to pull from in order to give you here I'll pull from this is the what is the name of this deck oh the cozy tarot deck I should pull from the ask yourself deck but I don't know where it's at it's somewhere on my desk. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to pull from the Cozy Witch Tarot deck. Like, don't get too cozy in this situation. So if they do come back, you have to, you'll have to set your boundaries. Look at that already. Yep, the patient witch. You've been patient. And then it says, Page of Swords Energy. Courtesy is a type of ma uh, curiosity, excuse me, is a type of magnet, ma magic. And so this person is reading books, learning from the past and understanding the differences. And so that's the reason why you're not willing to look or revisit a certain uh, this certain scenario because the six of pentacles given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself it says every blessing you give will eventually be returned to you and so again you've given this person a blessing so thank them they gave you a lesson you gave them a blessing but no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher this person place thing or situation was here to teach you a lesson and when it comes to the knight of swords again having clarity be ambitious, chase every, uh, chase your every dream. So now you're going after, you're courageous enough to go after the things that you want. But all of these situations, you're learning, you're reading books, you're reading books, and you're basically now able to relax. After nine years, nine of pentacles energy, each pentacle is equivalent to a year. And it says pause and savor uh, the rest of your success. And that's the same thing as you understanding 
excuse me, where you are resting, sitting back, four pinnacles comes back. You know, it's the same thing, pulling your energy back and really just understanding where you are right now in this present moment. You've relaxed, you've been patient, and now you have to be able to make a decision, a patient witch, right? It says, learn to get comfortable with sitting still wherever necessary. So um, in the process of me pulling my energy back, yes, I did pull it back from you and a lot of other situations because I had to be able to, I had to be able to move forward and to do all my studying and to um, not necessarily give you the negative energy that I was feeling uh, when I, and that's the reason why I distanced myself from a lot of situations. And if you're a cancer, you know, you know, it's a journey that you have to go on. But sometimes, you know, sitting back and being quiet is the same energy and also reflecting. All of this is a lot of reflection. And then you have to ask people for assistance, but reflecting in order to build your coins and to understand that you've given a lot to certain situations, but overthinking is not the best way for you to get through a situation, you know, but, and overthinking causes stagnation. It causes fear. It causes anxiety. So sometimes you just got to get back out there and just know and trust in the universe and trust your intuition. And that is kind of how I see that energy. And we always want to be nurtured and loved. But at the same time, you have to understand that you have to nurture and love yourself, if that makes sense, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements. You had to distance yourself and um, order to accept an apology from a person who didn't really appreciate you, if that makes sense. And so it says, don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. And that is where you're moving forward to this nurturing compassionate situation when you realize that you kind of dumbed yourself down respectfully right you dumbed yourself down in order to be loved by somebody who wasn't on your level and so because you've had a spiritual awakening and you're able to ask always ask the universe for assistance this person wasn't there until you walked away so you taught them a lesson they taught you you know um, a lesson and so thank them and move forward so be yourself around others. It says the biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. And so, again, don't make the assumptions. Stop looking and seeing the potential in others. Ouch, I just hit my elbow. Stop looking and see the and seeing the potential in others and start seeing the potential in yourself and start going after your own things and having clarity that, again, um, it says curiosity is a type of magic. So you have to create the magic that you want and also the page Queen of Swords energy. Don't you dare lower your voice for anyone. And that's you learning to be yourself around others. And that's the journey that you had to go on. High priestess energy to trust in yourself, to be patient, not to rush things, but to also understand that distance um, also distant, distancing, dist uh, I can't even say it, to distance yourself from people who don't see your worth is the best thing that you can do. And that always causes you to put a flame in under your um under yourself like to get yourself going and to pause and savor fa savior where you are right now at this moment if that makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then we're gonna let this energy go um you guys do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video um also i've noticed that um youtube has um unsubscribed a lot of people on my uh so just check your subscription and unsubscribe, resubscribe, but also hit the notification bell as well. So the bronze night is here, and this deals with all chakras. Again, the four agreements, I'll link them up there in regards to my perspective of how I see the four agreements and also the chakras. Um, I'll click, I'll put the links up there. But all the ch chakras, um, excuse me, somebody's throat chakra is off. Self-control, certainty, and action. You're taking action and you're trusting in your intuition because all you want is balance, compassion, and to be nurtured. But that's the realization that you had to go through. That's the journey. And you're happy that you experienced this. So thank this person. No man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher, right? I send out loving, thoughtful energy 
and I receive the same in return. So you're going to send strength and healing, period, to a person, place, thing, or a situation. And that is what you're doing. Thank them. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.